the only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. Hello, YouTube. How you doing? Morning commute to work. Well, hey, where should we start? Don't know. See, our economy's in a shitter. It's basically bankrupt. And what are we doing? We're still chasing rabbit holes. Everybody want to chase the rabbit hole. Put a rabbit in front of it. It's like going to the dog track. You got a little rabbit on there. They open the gates and the dogs run after the rabbit. Well, ain't it lovely to live in a matrix where they set out the rabbit and set him off and they're off. And here we go. Around and around we go. Where she stops, nobody knows. Ain't it just lovely to play the little game that everybody wants you to play? Nobody wants to play the right rabbit hole. They want to play all the rabbit holes. And I'm guilty of it as well. I'm not saying I'm not. I try to do my best to get information out. But it's a damn shame that when you got the real truth, that it gets suppressed. Oh yeah. Obama's talking about executive ordering the internet again with a simple law. And yeah, here we go again. And everybody says, oh, that's not Obama. He's just a puppet. Well, yeah, that's all he is. Well, I don't disagree with that at all. But he's the man putting his John Henry on a piece of paper. So, in my opinion, and this is just my opinion, of course, he's just as damn guilty as the rest of the poor, poor morons that are out there doing this shit to us. Okay? If you take an oath, you're supposed to uphold it and defend it no matter what. But see, he never said it right to start with, so he ain't got to do nothing. They never made him correct that at any given moment. And he does it just to show you. Put it in your face. All y'all know that. Everything he does is to do it right in your face. He told you he was going to do it when he first started running. I'm going to put it in your face. I'm going to let you see it. Might not know what's in the bill, but we're going to pass it so we can know what's in it. So they can change it as we go. And you're going to get chipped for all that health care. Ain't that lovely? Where are you going to get the chip at? Why are you going to get a chip? Huh. <laughs> It's going to be all right, though, folks. You'll love living as a slave. I'm sure. I'm sure you will. Oh, hell yeah. Everybody driving down the road thinking everything's okay. I'm sitting here looking at everybody at this red light right now. And I bet you that everybody in this red light, and there's probably... Well, as far as I can see, in front of me and behind me and the lights, there's probably a good hundred cars sitting here at this red light. It's one, two, three. It's four lanes. And it's all bumper to bumper. All four lanes. Now, there's probably a good hundred cars sitting here. And I bet you not one of that hundred people, the only person in this line at this red light, knows anything about what I'm talking about is me. Ain't that a damn shame? I mean, really. 
Now, they know something's wrong and something's going on. But do they know where the real rabbit hole is? No. You know why? Because it's being suppressed. Of course it is. Do you know how hard it was for me to even find any of that stuff that I found? It took days and weeks. It ain't like I found that overnight. Oh no. I was looking for the truth, just like all the rest of y'all. Y'all looking for the truth? But did we find the truth? No, we didn't find the truth. You know why we didn't find the truth? Because it's just not out there. The truth is, back 1871. It really is the truth. The United States was a corporation. And until everyone out there, and I mean everyone, the all-seeing eye people, the third eye people, the different religions, the different all different everything all of everybody that is out there and I mean everybody if we don't start fighting for our country in the right way and we think well oh it's that's all history there ain't nothing we can do about it you keep thinking that And you think you're going to get a better future by changing what's going on now? Well, all you're doing is basing yourself on a democracy. And a democracy will fall. Because a democracy will end up in an anarchy. It's just a proven fact. It has over history for many, many, many years. And it's going to continue to do so. All you got to do is do your history, folks. We're not a democracy. We're not supposed to be a democracy, but they have created a democracy with two constitutions. <clears throat> not just one. We have two. But the one they enforce is the ones, the one that they created for themselves. Act 1871, which makes us a democracy. It does. It really does. But no one wants to push the fact that we, the people, have to fix the problem. Freedom is not free, people. It never has been. That's why we fight. All those wars we fought, and most of them were unjust, especially since the first Iraq war. Well, leave them before that, but we're going to go with that. When we declared war on a country that we had no business messing with, we're just going to start with that one, okay? And then again after 9-11. All that stuff happened, and 9-11 was a bad thing. But those people didn't do that. Y'all know that. Someone had to know what was going on. Someone. Somewhere thereabouts had to know what was going on for that to happen. Diesel fuel, jet fuel, kerosene, whatever you want to call it, it's all the same fuel. Just one cleaner than the other. It has less particles in it. Diesel fuel is a real dirty fuel. But if you refine it and filter it multiple, multiple times, it becomes jet fuel. Same octane, same burn temperature, same everything. Diesel fuel does burn hot, but it does not burn hot enough to melt steel, nor to weaken steel. 
And when I say to weaken steel, yeah, you can take steel and you can put it over a big fire and you can burn multiple, multitudes of, of, of fuel in one spot and you can lay the beam horizontally and you can put a little extra weight in the center and yes, you can make it warp. But you're talking about one beam and you're not talking about a structure that is welded together in different directions. You cannot take and weaken the steel enough to cause the beam to collapse nor twist when it's got a steel structure square frame built to it. You just can't do it. It just ain't going to happen. I don't give a damn. It ain't going to happen. Now, we've got 9-11, we've got, since Obama's been in office, we've got multitudes of things. Bin Laden, he's supposed to have gotten Bin Laden. Really? Well, hell, I thought he died a long time ago. You know what I mean? He was, right after 9-11, he was in a, a hospital. Uh, in Iraq or Iran, I forget where, uh, for Dallas machine. Hmm. And unless you got extremely, extremely good health care, you're only going to live five years. And he was living in a cave. So explain to me how this man lived so long on Dallas a dialysis machine, I, I just don't get it. Do y'all get it? I, I mean, but he's the man that created 9-11, but was never charged. Let's, let's get all that straight. He was never charged now. He was never charged with the crime. We just accused him of it. Remember? I mean, you can go back. He was the man, most wanted man in the world. Really? What did he do? Really? What did he do? Do you know? No, you don't know. What caused him to be the most man, wanted man in the world? Huh. Well, hell. I guess you'll have to look it up. It's, it's an on and on thing, folks. It's an on and on thing. It's just propaganda. You know, the same thing that that Hitler done. Do y'all remember that? Some of you are too young to know. But if you look up history and you really dig into it, I mean get down dirty with it, dig into it, you're going to find some strange, strange things in there. Since uh, the Pope, he resigned. Hmm. Let's see. Does that have anything to do with what's going on? I'm sure it does. Let's see. Didn't the Catholic religion... Huh. I'm pretty sure that the Catholic religion backed Hitler when he first started his escapade. And let's see. Ain't the Vatican doing the same thing with Obama? Hmm. Wow. Coincidence, huh? Really? Nah, that ain't a coincidence. No, it ain't. No, that ain't a coincidence. Or is it? Really? I don't know. It's your opinion. You can use it any way you want to. Think about it any way you want to. But folks, I I didn't want to bring. I ain't bringing religion into it. But. I want you to think about this really hard and it ain't got nothing to do with any religion none not really not in my opinion it has nothing to do with religion but religion is being forced down your throat in all types of forms in all kinds of religion and don't you understand why it's the only way to control you. You have to be controlled. 
some way, somehow. They really would rather there only be one religion, one world religion. Really? Really? Look it up. It's for real. They only want one religion. That's a better way to control you. It's to make you accept the New World Order. One world government, one world religion. Which religion is it going to be? The Catholic? I'm betting money on it. Really? Wasn't this country founded to get away from the Catholic religion to start with? Hmm. I think so. Ain't it them same people that founded this country has been trying to destroy it ever since with inside? Hmm. I think so. Are we going to just stick our head in the sand and walk down the street with our eyes closed and sit back and say I got so much money and I got so much food and everything's going to be alright for me and I don't care about nobody else really? is the greed setting in on you? is your conscience not your conscience doesn't bother you? for saying I got enough to take care of myself. I don't care about nobody else. Just leave me alone. Really? Are you really that way? Think about it long and hard. Are you really? Is your friends that way? How many people do you know that think that way? Feel that way? Know where they're at, where they're coming from, and where they're going. I mean, isn't it a damn shame that we have to live this way? I mean, ain't it? I mean, every day we we fight for rights. Every day. And every day we lose more. Why? Because of the propaganda. It's like Sandy Hook, the guy that done the shooting in California is supposed to be killing cops, a cop killer, it's supposed to be a cop killer. Really, is he? Or is he a man out there trying to, like Serpico, like I said before? Is he really trying to fight corruption? This is the only way he knows how. Why, if he's such a bad guy, why ain't he going around just killing all kinds of friggin' people. You know what I mean? Or is he dead already? Is he completely gone? Is it all over with? Is he dead? I mean, we did see his truck burn up. Is he dead? Maybe so. Maybe not. Hell, who knows? It's one of those things, all you can say, it either is or it is or it ain't. I don't know. And again, just like every holiday, wow, it's one of those things. I just don't know, folks. There's more and more things going on, more and more propaganda. When we get something we know that's right and something's wrong, we get more and more propaganda against us. Every time when we think we got something figured out, they start. Well, we do have it figured out. But they start something new, and everybody moves from one subject to the next. 
That's okay. It really is okay. I mean, we still have to stay on top of everything. We do. But then it all turns into the same old shit. All the time. We got more and more craziness going on constantly. And we really have multitudes of corruption going on. In all means, we got the, the bankers bailout. And the bankers got all that bailout money. And they wouldn't give loans. And it's, it's still hard to get a loan. But the bankers themselves got a big bonus. Wow. Why did they get great big bonuses? Did they deserve it? No, they didn't deserve it. But they had to give them bonuses because they didn't want to lose those people, the ones that stole them a lot of money. I can understand why they wanted to give them bonuses because they done a great deed for them. But did they do a great deed for us? We the people. No. They didn't help us not one damn bit. You know, they could have gave all that money to all the people, all the taxpaying people in this country. And I guarantee you that our economy would have flourished. It might not have helped in the long run, just like the other one. But it would have stopped what was happening at the time. And there's something else that would really fix this country. And that one thing is gas prices. See, everybody forgets that part. One of the big reasons why this country started falling was everybody had great big loans, remember? And gas prices went from, what was it, $1.75, $1.65, somewhere in that area? They took the gas price, or they took the gas, and they took those little cash limits off of it and put it back on the stock market so it could float with prices. Well, when they did that, now Bush did that, and when he did that, all it done was cause the stock market, the prices of the gasoline to go up and down like it does everywhere else in the world. But when we had the cap limit on it, it didn't do that. In the first few months, all that happened, the refineries were making billions a week or a month, or was it a, or was it a day? I think it was a day. They were making billions of profit. Well, that got shut up. Nobody talks about how many billions of dollars they've made profit in what, how many now? Four, six years, eight years? Oh, I don't know, about five and a half, six years, seven maybe. How many billions of dollars that they have stole from the American people? Oh yeah, and it's okay to make money and a profit. I don't see nothing wrong with anybody making a profit. But gouging somebody for a profit? Uh, that's a little bit fucked up. And they're the ones that create the gas prices to go up. They scream, oh, we're not getting fuel because of a hurricane. Gas prices go up. Oh, we're not going to get none because we got a bad storm in the Gulf of Mexico and gas goes up. Oh, we're, well, we're getting flooding over here, bad lightning storms, and gas prices are going to go up this week. Or, uh, we're not getting, there, there's no oil coming out of the ground this week, uh, but gas prices are going up. I mean, excuse after excuse after excuse. And then they say, oh, well, gas prices are going to come down this week because the United States is going to turn away some of their uh, reserve. Really? Come on. No, they're not doing that. Really, are, are they? Okay, you get my point. Do you remember? 
That's what it is, folks. You got to remember what they did to you from one day to the next day. You can't forget what they done. You got to remind people to wake them up. You got to remind them of everything that's going on every time you do a video or any time you say something or on radio. You got to tell them. You got to remind people that aren't awake. I'm not talking to the ones of you that are awake. You already know this. But the ones that aren't awake, you've got to remind them of everything that's happened. That's why there's so much stuff out there. Because people don't remember. Oh, it didn't happen that way. You've got to prove it to them, too. That's a damn shame that you have to prove it to them. But it's that way. I can't help it. I didn't make it that way. But it's that way. And people fight it, work it, and that's the way it is. If our economy survives, if we survive through all of this as the United States in our currency and having freedoms which are generally doing them in a way as long as you do what they tell you to do, If it survives, I'm going to be surprised. And I may not live to see it. It may not change right away. I doubt that. And I'm sure most of you doubt that as well. And everything in the last five years has went so fast that it's just really crazy. So, I don't know, folks. It's up to you. Are we going to start fighting together? Are we going to let them? And are we going to keep dividing ourselves into different little groups and fight different little battles, thinking, well, that's the way it is? No. That's the way you want it to be. That's your agenda. It's not just your agenda. It's all of our agendas. We're all fighting for the same thing. Whether most of you out there believe that or don't believe that, we're really all fighting for the same thing. The only way to correct the problem is to go to the source, the beginning. You can't correct the future based all false truths. It's like telling a lie and then you tell them another lie to back that lie up. They've been doing that for years. You remember when you was a kid and you'd tell a lie and then your parents would catch you and then you would tell another lie to get out of it and they would let it off for a little while and then they question you about that, and then you'd fly out another lie. And then when it finally get all said and done, you either got restriction in, in the right years, you either got your ass tore up, until society come up with this horse shit about it's not good to whip your children. And I'm not saying it's good to whip your children but it is good to teach them from right from wrong and not blame everything on a pill. Holy hell. I went one way to work, I can't go, and now I'm going another way, and it's the same way. Wow. Uh, people just can't drive anymore when it's raining. Jesus Christ Almighty. But anyway, folks, I guess I'm going to have to get off of here because I can't get over. It's a damn shame that people don't know how to drive. But it's one of those things. But folks, you think about what I said long and hard because, hey, there's a lot of things going on in our country. The truth 
the real truth, the sad truth, and the bad truth. Much love to y'all. And don't feel that I'm going off on you. I'm just trying to wake you up. That's what I've always been doing, trying to wake people up to the fact that we've been duped. We've been duped a long time. And as long as we base anything off of that, if we allow the government to base anything off of those lies, we're going to stay duped. Do you understand? We'll always be duped. Always. Y'all have a great day. And hopefully a better tomorrow. Much love. If there's a blue pill and a red pill, and the blue pill is half the price of the red pill and works just as well, why not pay half price?